In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We offer three Hail Marys for the increased virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, through the world of the Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. The fruit of the mystery is humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. The fruit of the mystery is love of neighbor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. The fruit of the mystery is poverty in spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for the world of the light and the end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven especially those most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. The fruit of the mystery is obedience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be. Amen. 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 O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. The fruit of the mystery is joy in finding Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and shall be the world. And amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant to beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For this evening's indulgence, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world of God. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus. St. Catherine Labore.
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful, by the light of the Holy Spirit, Grant us the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, O Lord, Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numerous miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishments of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who, for a better, more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorari. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrate the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates inequity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and the purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at linked attain to the blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you, 
under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son, O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior. Keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy debt, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. That's one of the Gospels that you will hear on Sunday coming June the 5th, the Feast of Pentecost. But in that gospel I just read, what did Jesus do? It says he breathed the Holy Spirit into them. And he said, whose sins you forgive are forgiven. Now I'm sure everybody in this church was baptized. And at that time you received the Holy Spirit. And I'm sure if most maybe all have received the sacrament of confirmation where we receive the fullness of the spirit but like pentecost or rather easter sunday afternoon when he came to them i like to think that our pentecost is when we think about the Holy Spirit. Maybe we need a new way of generating that enthusiasm that we received already. I say that because the apostles were not able to move even though he said to them, he breathed on them the Holy Spirit. They still were doubting. They still weren't sure until later on, until the Holy Spirit came on them in a more dramatic way. It wasn't a new spirit, but I guess they had prepared for it. And again, we reminded ourselves that they were praying for nine days so this is why I feel that it's time to put on life in the spirit seminars again. Put them on in a big context with each week having a, a talk 
and giving each one lessons to do between the next week and to do it for six weeks. We'll be speaking about that later on in the fall. Now, what you will hear on Sunday, some of the readings, there are many readings for Pentecost, but the Acts of the Apostles will say, when the time of Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And again, suddenly there came from the sky a noise, like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were staying. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Paul, from Corinthians then in the second reading, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them and everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. And I think it's important as well during these Life and the Spirit seminars to delve in to the spiritual gifts. And then one of the Gospels that you just heard during the doors were locked because the disciples were afraid. Jesus came and said, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Now again, we are reminded ourselves. You know, I always think about the visionaries in Mechigoria, and uh, I've been privileged to be present many, many times during the apparitions, and especially Yvonne's apparitions over the years. And he always prepares with prayer. There's always at least 40 minutes of prayer before he has that apparition, and then more after. And again, what were the apostles doing in that upper room? You see, there's no substitution for prayer. I know it's Memorial Weekend. I know you could be at the beach, you could be at a barbecue, you could be, I don't know, doing something else. But there's no substitution for prayer. After 41 years on June the 24th, the word that Our Lady has kept on saying is pray. You might say, well, Blessed Mother, could I do something else? She never said that. You might think, and Satan would like to try and tell you, Asher, all you're doing now is praying. Why don't you do something else? Again, remember Our Lady's words. When you pray, you're never idle. You know, the rosary is a prayer you can do anywhere. In your car, when you're shopping, when you're out walking, wherever. Just getting into that mode. She never said you can do something else. So here they are. They're in that room now. Nine days they kept the prayer going. At the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit prepares us with his grace in order to draw us to Christ. He opens our mind. Again, the Acts of the Apostles. From the sky, sky a noise came, a strong wind filled the house. Tongues of fire filled the Holy Spirit. They spoke in different tongues. Again, Paul and Corinthians, there are different spiritual gifts. 
the same spirit given for some definite purpose. Also the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And before we look at the fruits, we're reminded again of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They were in the bulletin, I think, last week or this week. Seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of wisdom. What does that mean? That I may not be attached to the perishable things of this world, but aspire only after the things that are eternal. Well, you have the gift of wisdom tonight. You're here at the prayer meeting. You're here at this gathering. That's wisdom, right? The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage the obstacles that oppose my salvation. Very important fortitude. Spirit of knowledge that I may know God, know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. You know, again, when Our Lady speaks about prayer, she says, if you keep praying, you'll get to love it. You know? The more you pray, the more you want to pray. The less you pray, the less you want to pray. And the Holy Spirit prompts us, as Pope Francis would say, to go forward. He kind of pushes us. And he says, don't resist it. Because to resist it, he says, is stubbornness. The spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God. I may avoid anything that may displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and emanate me in all things with your spirit. You see, it's very humbling and again, Our Lady has said this many times. God needs your cooperation so that his plans for the world will come to fruition. And when you think of that, you see, each person has free will. Free will is very difficult because you must choose. And he won't override it. Look at that war at the moment, Ukraine and Russia. It's something diabolic, utterly satanic. And yet, the Lord doesn't overturn it. One flick of his hand, he could stop it. There you see man's free will, for good or for evil. When you think of the Holy Spirit and how he worked with the first apostles after the cooperating in the upper room, my body was put in a tomb. This was a meditation on the 14th station. I had no grave of my own. My body was laid in somebody else's tomb. Was it fitting that I be put in a borrowed tomb? Yes, even in debt, I had no place to call my own. Here on earth, I didn't own my own burial plot. I was always borrowing things from the very beginning of my incarnation. I will also borrow you. You will be my tongue, my throat parched. You will be my hands and feet nailed. You will be my head torn. You will be my side lanced. You will be my body stripped. You will be my corpse buried. 
and when the borrowing is over you will be my brothers and sisters and with me in heaven you see the Lord wants to use each one in different ways but always the goal is to bring your soul and the souls of others on the right road to heaven from the person who is in a wheelchair to the person who is elderly or whatever God will use each one for the saving of souls if the heart is open don't ever think that when you are saying the rosary in your own quiet place at home or wherever or meditating on the scriptures or whatever holy book you read never think that you are idle offer it up especially for your families those who are away from the church especially the holy souls in purgatory they need our prayers very much we're reminded of Fatima you know we say that prayer after each decade but we kind of let it roll off our heads how does it go save us from the souls in heaven in purgatory and in hell those who have nobody to pray for them she asked for the prayer to be said after each decade for those who need our prayers so ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten you what you should pray for you can just look around at the world today and know that it needs so much prayer it's complicated today because many are complicating it even more when you think of sexuality at the moment it seems like it's out of control right never did we dream that the medical profession would start dabbling in trying to change bodies from male to female male and back whatever they're dabbling with mental illness and it's not fair and it goes on and on and on so continue praying for all the needs the complicated needs that parents especially today with children go through torment and um, leave the results to God but if you never pray if you never do your part then we will be asked later why we didn't do it you know amen
have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you've given us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom. We will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen.
Just to remind you that tomorrow is Wednesday, uh, Wednesday. there's the Holy Hour here at 6 o'clock, the Divine Mercy Holy Hour, very important. Um, all of you have needs for yourselves, for your families, come to these Holy Hours. Um, God always honors our prayers in his way, his time, but if we don't do it, and also to remind you again, the Feast of Corpus Christi this year is Sunday, June the 19th. And after the 10.30 Mass, we will have our procession from here to the Eagles Club, where we'll have an altar outside. We'll do the benediction there and process back. It's very beautiful. It's the one day of the year when we're asked to bring Jesus out into the streets. That's the 19th of June. Also to remind you, on the 23rd of June, normally we don't do a healing Mass, but I've been asked to put on a special healing Mass on the vigil of the 41st anniversary of Metrogoria, And maybe at that Mass, uh, we will also ask one or two to maybe give us an explanation of what they thought about Metrogoria. So we'll talk about that later. So... Wednesday, the Holy Hour, 19th of June, is the Corpus Christi procession, and the 23rd is the Healing Mass. Amen. Amen. Lord, you know the needs of all who are present here tonight. You see deep into their hearts and those that they've come to pray for. We've come here tonight to honor your mother and Catherine Labore who gave us these prayers and told us what she had seen in that church in 1830. Lord, we come here humbly to ask that your mother would intercede for us and St. Catherine Labore. Honor the prayers of your people, Lord, who cry out to you in their need. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.